guys it's Jessie welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video today we have a super fun one because I'm going to be chatting to you about all of my reading plans for spring and sharing my first ever seasonal TBR I've never done one of these before but I thought it would be super fun to share some of the books that I'm hoping to read this kind of spring season and do yeah spring TBR like I mentioned so I have 10 books here to share with you guys I'm doing this in the same way that I've seen Meg with books do it and that's going to be five from like specific themed TBR like secret reading vlogs that I have planned and then five are just books that I'm hoping to get around to in kind of my other reading and in more like challenge type videos like 24 hour readathons rather than video plans that I have with like set TBRs if that makes sense. So uh, without further ado let's get straight into it. I think maybe first I'll talk to you about the books I do have set plans for. So I personally think most of these do have like a spring vibe. I might be like totally off with that but to me most of these kind of like scream spring. So firstly we have Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. So this was a huge book in 2022 I believe and I am really excited to pick it up. I know it's a bit of a longer one um, it's nearly 500 pages but this is meant to be a really good story about friendship and I believe it's about like a story about love but not about romance if that makes sense. I've heard really really excellent things. I have this planned for a video where I've got quite a large TBR so um, I'm a little bit intimidated by it but I do want to get around to that video soon because I think it's going to be a really really fun one. I think firstly the cover just really gives off spring vibes to me I love the little reflective bit I think it's so much fun and yeah I've literally only heard positive things about this so I am very much excited for it once I eventually do get around to it so that is the first book that I do have like definitive plans to read probably in the next six weeks or so next up we have another one that is not mm, like it's tenuous links to spring I don't know I think it might just be like one element of the cover and that is Powerless by Lauren Roberts so again another super super popular book this one was so hyped up last year and I'm really excited oh my receipt is still in here fun anyway oh it's got a map at the front I love that so this has been pitched to me as kind of like a romantic Hunger Games which I'm a super duper excited by I adore Hunger Games I loved The Serpent and the Wings of Night I loved The Trials in the First Akatar book like any type of like that vibe I really eat up and I have heard people literally dying over this book so I have reasonably high expectations for it I think I might love it and I think like the flowers on the cover the little purple flowers really give me the spring vibes so yeah this is another one that I'm actually planning to read this month which is super exciting it is on my March TBR I haven't got around to it yet but I'm filming the video next week I believe where I'll be reading this and I am so excited this is like tip top of my TBR I cannot wait to get to it I have such high expectations I can't lie so next up we have a book that I bought pretty much when it released but I just have not got around to it because I kind of like mentally like put it in the box of a certain video and I've been pushing that video back a little bit but I'm so eager to read this one and it really does scream spring to me I think more than potentially any of the other ones and that is Check and Mate by Ali Hazelwood this is her YA debut and I believe this is like basically a chess rifles romance I'm really really excited about this because my only like gripe with Ali Hazelwood is I find that her smart can be a little bit cringy so I think you know remove that from the book and it'll be the perfect book for me potentially from her um yeah I've heard really good things mainly and I'm really really excited for it this is another one that i think i'm gonna love the cover just gives me such spring vibes with the pink and the love hearts i love it um this one i am reading actually in the same video as tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow so hopefully really really will be getting around to this soon i beg i want to get to it so badly i keep pushing back the video and that means i've got to push back this book which upsets me every time but so excited to get around to it this one and also bride i got recently i'm really excited to get my little ali hazelwood kick again after i haven't read her for a while okay next up we have the one that is probably Probably the least spring related. I mean I don't know if you would ever consider a thriller spring but like maybe like the YA vibes will pull it through but that is Five Survive by Holly Jackson. This is her release from last year which I still have not got round to. It came out in January I believe and um, I'm so excited for it. I think I might really enjoy it because I loved the Good Girls Guide to Murder series. It's one of my favourite series ever. I just absolutely adored it. So yeah I'm really excited for this. I think it'll be a really quick easy read. I'm planning on reading this also some point maybe next week the week after or so uh, because the video is coming very soon where I read this. It might be two weeks time I 
believe. But yeah, super duper excited to get this. I love a thriller. I feel like YA thrillers as well are super easy to get around to. And I don't think this is mixed media, but it has got like some little pictures at the start of like their road trip route and things like that. So yeah, super duper excited about this. And it's set over the course of like one night entirely. So yeah, I think this is going to be like super suspenseful and I think I will fly through it. And then finally for my books that I have definitive plans to read, we have another one that is so overwhelmingly hyped up and very well loved and that is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. This UK cover is absolutely stunning. I need to read this and see if I want the second one before the second cover goes out of print um, like the hardback in the UK because I really want matching editions if I do love them but oh like this is one of the most gorgeous covers that isn't a special edition that I own. She is just like absolutely stunning. So yeah this is kind of a also romantic -y, more kind of like light romantic -y, I guess. I was just looking if there's anything on the cover there's not. I am so excited about this. I think it's going to be really, really cute. And I know people love Iris and not Declan. That's from the um, fine print series. Roman. Iris and Roman. And I think I'm going to really, really adore this. I don't know why the writing is so small when the pages are so big. But um, yeah, so excited for this one. Um, and I'm also hoping to get around to this one this month as well. So yeah, this one is like a very high priority. I think I'm going to love it. But I mean, we'll see. I've had kind of mixed luck with popular fantasy, but I think I like it. So next, moving on to the books that I just want to read this season I don't have any definitive plans for but I'm hoping to fit them into some type of video and vlog maybe like a challenge type of thing um firstly we have a new release from the end of last year that I am really excited about even though I've heard mixed things and that is Never by Jessa Hastings this has got quite low reviews and I feel like I haven't really heard anyone talking about it since it originally came out I know you're meant to read the kind of original J.M. Barry Peter Pan before this so I don't know whether people have gone in with like the wrong type of expectation but I don't know I am still really looking forward to it because I love the Magnolia Park series I absolutely adore it and like look at this it's so pretty I think I might like it who knows but this is like so spring the cover like I think it's perfect I could not put it on this TBR because like look at that cover she is absolutely stunning I really hope I do enjoy it because then I can like display the cover and she can be gorgeous but yeah I am a little bit apprehensive a little bit nervous she seems like she would be short but I think she's actually like normal length um but yeah I'm hoping to get around to this soon I don't have plans but being crossed I can get to it then we have this is a very awesome book I can't lie but it is one that I do really want to get around to soon because I got it recently and that is a study in drowning by Ava Reed I've heard this is like a dark academia type of vibe like these pictures give me like dark academia and I adore that I've loved it in like every book I've read recently so I'm super duper excited for this one I know nothing about it I presume literally just from like these pictures that it's like a romantic -y, dark academia type of vibe but who knows it is like gorgeous the one enemy is the sea like what does that mean I have no idea like who knows but this is like purely vibes oh I don't want to dust check it that was close this is like purely vibes I know absolutely nothing about it um but I think I'm gonna love it and like look at the gorgeous edition she's stunning so yeah literally I genuinely know nothing about it I know it was Leonie from the book Leo's one of her favorite books from last year but like besides that I know nothing um but she's gorgeous so I do want to get around to her soon so next up we have another book that is peak spring vibes and that is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. This cover is gorgeous. Look at her. Like the little reflective toadstools, all of the like spring vibes. She is stunning. I cannot wait to get around to her. This is a cozy like romance fantasy about like fairies and I think it's like rivals to lovers. Like I just can't. I think I'm gonna love this but the thing is I think it's gonna be a little bit slow so I don't want to rush it or anything like that. Um, I think I just want to try and take my time with it um, but like she is stunning she gives off the perfect like spring frolicking in a field type of vibes oh my god there's footnotes as well oh that is so much fun I love this I cannot cannot wait to get around to this I'm so happy I ended up picking it up I don't know when I actually decided to um, I think I might have pre-ordered the paperback I actually don't know but either way I'm so excited for this and this is probably one of the top priority ones but I feel like it's one that I'm gonna put off just because I feel like it might be a little bit slow and therefore I might have to like pay more attention um but like I think I'm gonna love it potentially could like this is potentially a five star prediction it's like a five star or a two star I can't lie um but 
I think I'm gonna really really love it. So next up we have another one that isn't really spring vibes, I can't lie, but this is one I've hauled very very recently and I'm super excited for. I literally talked about it in my last haul last week and that is a mixed media thriller which is my favourite genre and that is Night Film by Marisha Pestle. So I definitely think I'm gonna get around to this sometime soon. I'm so excited about it. It's like full of like little like media clippings and like fun stuff. Um, I'm just so so intrigued by it. It's a mystery as well which is one of my favourite genres um, for mixed media. So yeah literally like nothing is gonna stop me from reading this book. I am so excited for it. I might even try and like binge it in a couple of sittings. Like I'm overwhelmingly excited for this. I haven't had like a solid mixed media mystery on my TBR for a long long time. I've got the Twyford code but that one is just podcast. This one I'm just so excited for I cannot wait um, I know literally nothing about it I've only heard Megwa books talk about it and she read it recently when I'd already ordered it so that's potentially the universe telling me that I should read it so yeah I am very 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 very, very excited for this one and hoping to get around to it in the next month or so maybe who knows i've got a lot of reading to do but like maybe who knows i hope so i'm just so excited for it okay and then our final book this is one that i just picked up randomly in a charity shop because i'd heard good things but then a lot of you guys actually said that you really enjoyed it as well and i personally feel like the cover of this gives spring vibes and that is remarkably bright creatures by shelby rampel i love this cover i don't know what it is i think it's like the cream with the little octopus and the pink i think it's so 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 cute i love it so this this is basically a kind of mystery book where the octopus at an aquarium figures out who killed the cleaner's husband. I have no idea. I'm very, very excited. I am desperate to get an octopus. Oh, we do get an octopus point of view. Perfect. I cannot wait. I'm so excited for this. Uh, when I picked it up, I thought it was going to be like litfic. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it that much, but like leafing through it has got me even more excited. Like hearing you guys talk about it has got me even more excited. I love a little bit of a weird book. So um, I hope this delivers on that it's also not too too long so yeah i'm super excited for this one i want to read it so soon there's so many books and so little time i just want to get around to this i'm so excited for it so yeah these are the 10 books on my priority spring tbr let me know if you've read any of these any of these are your favorite i would love to know i'm so excited for all of these as you guys tell i probably said like i am so excited for this for literally every single book but like it's so true i am like all of these are like very high predictions for me like at least a four star um and i'm so excited for them i really really need to find a way to cram a lot of these into videos if they don't already have like set tbrs but yeah so excited i can't wait for all the reading i'm gonna do in spring i'm feeling so good about being back home being back at my bookshelves and like yeah just some good reading is gonna be coming your way lots of fun vlogs lots of big big plans so stay tuned i think this spring is gonna have a lot of fun stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like down below hit subscribe and turn on the bell to turn a little club and make sure you turn on all notifications then you'll be notified every single time i post a new video and if you watch one of my other videos there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as well as they linked up in the cards from earlier so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye